All right, in this video, we will learn how to make a GET request using Axios and render the fetched data in our view component. Now to fetch the data, we need to have an API endpoint. For that, I will be making use of JSON placeholder. As you can see here, it is basically a free to use fake online REST API for testing and prototyping. I want the focus to be on data fetching in our view application and not on creating an API. JSON placeholder saves us from having to create the API ourselves. I will leave a link to this site in the description down below for your reference. Now if you scroll down to the routes section, you can see the possible HTTP requests you can make. For this video, I will be making a GET request to slash posts, which will fetch an array of 100 posts to display in the UI. Let's get started. I'm going to go back to VS Code and create a new component. So within the components folder, create a new file called postlist.view. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet vbase CSS to create a component. The component name is post list. And in the template, let's add a button with the text load posts. In the app component, I will include the post list component. So import it from postlist.view include it in the list of components and add it to the template. If you now save all the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the button. Now what we want to do is on click of this button, make a get request to the API endpoint and fetch the data. First step, we import the Axios library. So in the post list component script block, import Axios from Axios. Second step, we need to create a data property which will store the list of posts. So after name, data is a function which returns an object. Let's call the property posts and the initial value is an empty array. Third step, we are going to use Axios to make a GET request to the JSON placeholder API. The question now is where do we place the code to make that GET request? Well, we place it in a new method which will then be called on click of the load posts button. So after data, let's add methods, which is an object, and we add a new method called GET posts. This method will be called on click of the button. So on the button, click handler and the handler is the get posts method. Now let's define get posts. To make a get request, we invoke the get method on the Axios library. So Axios dot get. This method accepts the API endpoint as its argument. So go back to the browser and in the routes section, click on slash posts and copy the URL. Go back to VS Code and paste it as the argument to the get method on Axios. At this point, we are making an HTTP request. But how do we access the data returned? Well, Axios is a promise based library. So we can add then and catch blocks. Then accepts an arrow function as its argument, which gives us the list of posts that has been retrieved. So we get the HTTP response. And for now, let's log response.data, which should hold the 100 posts from the API. Also, if something went wrong, let's log the error to the console. Quick format. And if you now save the file, and go back to the browser, click load posts, you should see the 100 posts logged in the console. If I expand one of the posts, 
You can see that each post has an ID, body, title, and user ID properties. All that is left now is to assign this data array to the post data property and then render it in the template. So back in VS Code, inside then block, we assign this dot posts with response dot data. And now in the template, we can use the v4 directive to iterate over the list of posts. So div tag v4 is equal to post in posts, bind a unique value to the key attribute, which can be post.id. And for each post, let's render some of the properties. I'm going to add an hc tag that renders the post ID, followed by the post title. And that is followed by a paragraph tag where we render post.body. Also add a separation line. If I now format the file, save it and go back to the browser, click on the button, you should be able to see that the list of items are fetched from the API and displayed in the browser. Let me explain how this complete process takes place as it is really important. We start off with the data object. We have a property called posts, which is an empty array. When we click on the button, the control flows to the get posts method. Over here, we make our get request to the API endpoint. Once the data is retrieved, we update the posts data property. When you update data, the component will re-render. The posts property contains 100 items which we iterate over using the v4 directive. In each iteration, we bind the post ID, title and the body to the template which is rendered in the browser. Now let me also quickly show you how to display an error message when the API fails. I will add another data property called error message Initialize to an empty string. In the catch block, I will set this dot error message to the string error retrieving data. In the template, if there is an error message, I will display it. So let's add an AC tag where we bind the error message and we add the condition only if there is an error message. Finally, I will alter the URL to an invalid URL. If you now go back to the browser, click on load posts, you should see the message error retrieving data. All right, that is how you make get requests with Axios and Vue. In the next video, let's quickly take a look at making post requests. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.